that's on. Putting in that. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, wow, he just let him do it. Yo! <laughs> he tried to sidestep that at the last. Yo! Yeah! Oh, that was so good. Ow. And that's just even damage. Oh, man. Milkul is not letting up. Vegito comes. Whoa! What? What? Yo! That's. What was oh, that? Oh, my God. That's, a, that's not okay. Yo! That's not okay. Vegito coming in clutch. Wait a minute. Yeah, so when do I get these units? Oh, miss! Yo, Bean Sword Slash! There it is! Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, man, oh, man, we seen uh, the showcase of Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegito in the tournament, and you're seeing it again in the intro of the video, right? And I gotta tell you, phenomenal, man. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And Anniversary is finally going to start kicking into high gear. And I gotta tell you, I'm extremely excited. But before we get into it, in three days, we're going to get Super Saiyan Shallot. Super Saiyan 2 Shallot. Then in four days, we get the free unit, which is going to be base Vegito. And then in five days, we get Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, as well as Super Saiyan uh, Vegito. Now I want I want to ask you guys this question: What do you, what element color do you think Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Base Vegito is gonna be? Now my prediction would be Blue Vegeta is gonna be a blue element. I mean sorry, uh, a green a green element or a, a yellow element. But I'm leaning more towards a green element. I would prefer if he was a, a yellow element, but if, I have a feeling they're gonna make him a green element. And base Vegito is going to be a red element. I think he is because Super Saiyan Vegito is, is a purple element. So I think they're going to like play around with that. But let me backtrack a little bit more. Super Saiyan 2 Shallot is coming. I'm very excited about that. I was hoping they would upgrade him a bit for an extreme unit. Because that would make him viable for PvP. But apparently not. That's not the case. But I don't want to speculate too, too much further into this. Because there is a strong possibility that they're going to revamp this guy's stats as a Super Saiyan 2 unit and this might make him sort of viable to PvP if you, those of you who are really skilled and know how to utilize uh, Shala's kit at the best, to the best of your ability you might have a, a, a good shot of playing at PvP but I wouldn't say you would have a good shot of grinding up to the top with him but enough to the point where you can get into the top 10,000 maybe I don't know we'll find out let's speculate you let me know in your thoughts in the comment section below if you think this man will be viable enough in PvP to hit in the top 10,000 to get your thousand chrono crystal now in terms of base Vegito I'm not really too worried about legend rising because legend rising units they're they're, they're always uh sorry I'm saying I'm wrong maybe uh I know that they're but let's let's say a uh, free to play unit Free to play units are not scrubby. I mean, we got we got proven examples of Gray Salmon. Look at Gray Salmon. This dude is no joke. Kid Goku at the time when when uh when he was out there. Oh, Legend Road. There you go, Legend Road. So this guy might be a Legend Road unit. And Vegito, base Vegito. We saw Super Saiyan Super Saiyan Vegito, and he's a fusion. On top of base Vegito, he could support Super Saiyan Vegito, and they could support each other. They're both fusions or the fusion tag, which it also helps. But back to what I'm saying, Legend Rose units are not scrubby. They're actually pretty damn good. We've seen Great Saiyan Man. Now we're going to see Vegito. Now we're moving on to Blue, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Super Saiyan Blue Goku is no joke, man. I mean, we've seen him use the the, the main ability, which kind of replicates the, the scene in the anime where Golden Freezer got Kamehameha and he had when we rewind time. So pretty dope, man. I, I really don't mind the recycle animation of the anime into the game, which is... We get to relive that moment. I love seeing Freezer get blasted away, but we we have not seen Super Saiyan Blue go uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in action. We we didn't see that, so hopefully we'll see it soon. Hopefully in the next coming days. Right now it comes in in five days, so we don't we don't know until then. But hey, you know I wouldn't mind if they don't do a preview. I would like to be surprised. And then Super, and then we're gonna go on to Super Saiyan Vegeta. I mean, look at this guy's kit. This guy's kit is no joke. Man, this dude finally, you know, I gotta say, finally, Ben is doing something to throw out a banner that's worth spending your money on if you guys spend money on the game. I, I'm gonna definitely pull for him. If you guys are, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me, guys, if you're excited, disappointed, yes or no. And I also, too, want you guys to predict what is Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's kit. 
put it in the comment thing, debate on it, have a, a, a conversation with each other, say, hey, this is what I think, because I, I honestly, I have no idea, not even an inkling of an idea of what this guy's kid's going to be. I'm too shook right now of what's going on with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. It was like caught me off guard. I'm pretty sure it caught everybody off guard. Um, also, too, the tournament. What did you guys think of the tournament? I knew McCool was going to win, and I've seen this guy play so many times. This dude is like on another level, like God-tier level. It's just no joke. I mean, you saw how chill he was when he was facing against the producer. It was pretty dope. But let me know in the comment section below again how you thought of the tournament. What did you think about the, the reveals of the anniversary? And also, too, are you excited about Super Saiyan 2 Shallot? Now, the last thing I want to hit off in this video is that I'm, I'm hoping after the Super Saiyan 2 Shallot arc, when they defeat Cell, they start to stray away from recycling the Dragon Ball Z arc and start going into new ideas. It would be really nice. Like Super Dragon Ball Heroes, they got a whole like a whole new world, like a fa like a made for family service. So try to like stray away from uh, the Dragon Ball Z arc and do something like that. Follow that same path. Do something cool, unique, and that that's something I want. I would love to look forward to in the PV PVE content. So we'll see. I hope you guys have a good time. Thank you for guys watching the video. And also, too, before I end things off, I want to do a quick shout out to the number one man who's in uh, who's ranked first right now, currently PvP season. He's been grinding for hours on end. The Libra. So she'll give this man some love. Sub to him. Watch his watch his videos. You'll see why he's ranked number one. The dude is no joke. He worked he worked really hard. He evolved, and this man continues is gonna continue to grind until the season resets. But anyways, guys, so that's about it. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and thank you for watching. And don't forget, new viewers, subscribe to the channel.